It's no secret that Europe's populist and nationalist parties are gearing up to try and make a splash at the coming European elections. But who's helping them? My guest this week here in Brussels is Michel Modricaman, a corporate lawyer who's working with President Trump's former strategist Steve Bannon to try and coordinate those parties' activities. Their aim, they say, is to drive a stake through the heart of the Brussels vampire. But what does that really mean? Michel Madrikaman, welcome to Conflict Zone. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Nobody is more identified with the populist nationalist movement than Donald Trump, a man who's known as, in many cases, a serial liar. Do you share his contempt for the truth? Not at all. I don't think that he's a liar. I think he's a big disruptor. I think he's indeed in conflict with the establishment, he's in conflict with the press. And I don't, I don't believe he's, he's a liar at all. You don't? You don't? No, no. So he lied from day one in the White House about the size of his inauguration crowd. You don't think that was a lie? I was there. I was there. I was the largest there. ever crowd, uh, he said. The, the, the largest the, ever crowd. The, there is, from time to time, some exaggeration, but it was a very impressive and huge... I was there. <laughs> exaggeration can also be a lie. He lied about consulting several former U.S. presidents who told him apparently they too would have put up a wall along the border with Mexico. No such conversations ever took place. I don't know. He lied some 80 times about bringing in the largest tax cut in U.S. history. It wasn't. It he was lied a, about... It was, it was a very efficient tax cut. Yeah, but it wasn't the largest. And when he didn't lie, he himself... Sorry? He when he didn't lie himself, he mm -hmm. peddled other people's lies that Obama wasn't born in the United States. Well, there was a big, big discussion and at the time. And he wasn't. But these are, there, but these there, are lies. There was, there was a discussion. There were conflict about documents and so on. This is, you, you this do, is, but you this, don't this seem is, to be this interested this is, this in is, the this truth, this do you? Uh, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> that's really? Not true. That's not true. But lies to you are just that, exaggerations. That is not true. I, I am very uh, interested in truth. But I can tell you, as a lawyer, I know all things can be, can be presented. You know, there's this saying that only lawyers and, and uh, painters can turn black into white. So in politics, it happens too. And the, with the press, it happens too. So you too. turn truth into a sort of shaky no, concept, well, every, you know, well, well, a little this, bit here, the, a little bit there, the, a little the, bit of exaggeration this is, the, is this fine. Is, this is politics. This is politics. And is it, it, it is... Is it? It's it, his it, politics. It, 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 it's not everybody's it, you, politics. You have fact. You have facts. You have convictions. And uh, on top of that, I mean, we, all the parties can come with exaggeration, can come with approximation. This is rhetorics, you know. This is rhetorics. But you're, you're when, never, when, never going to admit when, this. You're when, not that when, interested when, in when, truth. When, really? That's really. That's not true. When we when, when we mention <laughs> just said it. when 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 we mention Trump, I think he's a big disruptor. That's one thing. And secondly, he has to be assessed. He has to be judged by the results, and his results are outstanding. So as long as you can lie your head off, but as long as the economy is doing well, it doesn't matter. This is, this is the it's philosophy, not, it's is not, it? It's not only the this economy. This is your philosophy. It's not only the economy. He defeated ISIS. He moved the personally, embassy. Personally defeated well, ISIS. Well, he changed the politics, indeed. He changed the politics. You know, Steve Bannon has yeah. been your, your friend and colleague, has been pretty uh, open about the benefits of dishonesty, hasn't he? Especially when he told the journalist Michael Lewis, the real opposition is the media. And the way you deal with them is to fill the zone with crap. I've cleaned up that last word slightly, mm -hmm. but that's what he said. In other words, lies and nonsense. Fill the zone with lies and nonsense. Yeah. But first of all, he, he, has been, he has been confronted, Mr. Trump, by, by a torrent of lies since the first day of his inauguration and even before. So he, he is eating back, he's eating back at the press, indeed. So using lies with lies, not setting no, an example. Well, well, I, I don't think you can just, uh, you know, put the light uh, on Trump uh, under the forms of lies and so on. This is politics, and look again, look at the results. Mr. Madriga, man, yeah. do you seriously think, and you, you say you care about democracy, that yeah. you can have a credible democracy where the most powerful head of state in the world looks his own people in the eye and lies to them repeatedly, and government employees are forced to lie as well so as not to call him out? Again... 
you, you asked me here to discuss about uh, um, populism in Europe and populism He's your figurehead. In, in the world. Well, Trump is your figurehead. He, he, he is one of the most important guy, indeed, on the on the world politics. On you the, get your on playbook the, on from the, on him? On the world scene. And I want to tell you more. I supported him from almost day one, week one. If you look at my videos in support that I made and so on. And I still fully support him. Of course, he has this exaggeration. He is, you know, his character is what it is. But I look at the result. And you need, you need such a personality to bring in the changes that were necessary and that all the president prior to him weren't able to make. And I want to tell you, there's another thing that he's doing. He's just sticking to his promises. He's delivering one after one his promises. And the last one that he didn't do so far is the wall. And he's prepared to go very far to get his wall. There's another one he didn't do as well. He, he, promised, it, he uh, promised to release because, his tax because, because his, his he's tax blocked, returns. Because he's blocked by the Democrats so he's far. He's blocked by the Democrats and, from and, releasing and, his and, tax and, returns? And, no, he isn't. No. No, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about the wall. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm about, talking about the other promise that he didn't deliver on, listen, which was to release his listen, tax returns. This is very but you've first, glossed over this that. Is very, it doesn't... The, it doesn't matter. His, his elector, his citizen, do not care about his tax return. You told me he can, fulfills his promises. His I'm promi telling you he I'm doesn't. I'm telling you the promises vis you vis vis the, the, his electors. One was the wall, and he wasn't able to deliver, and he's prepared to go on the fight, and what he's doing right now, to get it done through. That's, that's a man of achievement. That's a man of achievement. And, and what and about, and, and what about the tax returns? He's not sticking to his promise there. May 20th, 2014. If well, I decide to cares? run for office, who I'll cares? produce my... Who cares? The, who cares, who cares about the tax most returns? powerful man in who the world makes yeah, promises yeah, who and cares, doesn't deliver on them? Who, who cares about who the cares? tax returns of the president? They care about his policies, clearly. When Steve Bannon says he wants to replace a failed and corrupt political establishment, What's he going to replace them with? A bunch of even bigger liars? Because that's what it looked like, wasn't it? He's going to replace, or we want to replace them uh, everywhere in the world where people that really care for the ordinary guy. This is, the, this is the case of Trump. This is the case for Bolsonaro. This is the case for Salvini. In Brazil. In Brazil. Salvini, this for in Salvini. Italy. This is the case for Orban. And they care for the ordinary people. And by the way, the ordinary people show them exactly that they support them fully. That's the a, that's a result. You want to replace a corrupt political establishment. If you look at how Trump is replacing his corrupt, the corrupt political establishment, if there was one before him, he's replaced it with a lot of people. Five of them lied during their confirmation well, hearings. They, this is, is, is that a recommendation? If the you, kind of people if, that get brought in to replace a corrupt political establishment? Look, everywhere. It's nonsense, I, isn't it? I, I am not here, you know, to discuss, you know, any action of the Trump administration. But you want I to can, bring that I can, kind of I can, thing I can, to I Europe, can, I can, I can, I can tell you... You want to bring that thing I to can Europe? I can tell you from my own experience here, OK? I won't discuss because I'm not in charge of the Trump administration. But I can tell you from my own experience in Belgium, in Wallonia, here in this small country where this interview takes place, that indeed the establishment, the political establishment is corrupt, that indeed it's a kind of mafia system that has been set up, that has been set up. OK, that in, wasn't in, my in, point. It, that wasn't my point. No, no, I, but I am telling You're you... You're addressing am, a different look, point. Look, I am telling you that this is my experience here and this is exactly what we want to do here also in Europe, wherever it's possible. Talk about what you want to do in Europe. Are you not bothered by the rise of neo-Nazi groups and white supremacists the, the, in America since Donald Trump came to power? The, you're not worried that is. if you bring populists to power in Europe, you're going to have exactly the same the, kind of thing? First of all, you know, as a Jew, OK, I am not concerned by the right-wing populism uh, and vis-à-vis -vis the intolerance and vis-à-vis -vis the... Why not? By, by the why? Way. Why? I want, to, I, want, I want to tell you why. I want to tell you why. Because today, people like Trump, people like Bolsonaro, people like Salvini, OK, people like myself, of course, uh, and people like Steve Bannon are very close to the interest of the Jewish population, the concern of the Jewish population, 
and very close to Israel. And if you ask me today what is my main concern in Europe, it's not this movement. It's Jeremy Corbyn eventually getting into power in England. This is my concern. There are plenty of Jewish is, groups in America that were very concerned yeah. by Donald Trump, the, and the, particularly the, the, about Charlottesville, the kind of open anti-Semitism that was on show there uh, in 2017, where anti-fascists uh, clashed with white supremacists. Uh, listen, and Trump said listen, there were good people on uh, both sides. Yes, and, it is, and this is true. And, and I want to tell you that this is true. What he said, that were bad people on both sides. And I can tell you that we, I despise, he despise, but non despise this fringe group, this, this fascist and populist group. But fascism is on both sides. I know, you, maybe you don't know them, but I know the Antifa. They are the same fascists than those from the right. Mr. Majikaman, the same, the same Mr. Majikaman, the, the same largest the same. body of orthodox rabbis in the US condemned Trump's comparisons between white supremacists Let, and counter-protesters. They accused the him of a failure of moral uh, leadership and fanning the flames of intolerance uh, and, and chauvinism. Uh, but they know nothing, according uh, to you. No, no. They know uh, nothing. Un unfortunately, I know too well the American jury, which is largely... Oh, so you condemn them as well? They are you? No, they are largely for, for tens of years in support of the Democrat. They are supporting heavily Obama. And, you know, I know that only a, a minority of American Jews support, so you reduce support, it to support politics. Trump. But I know that they're just playing it, politics, it, it, are they? It, yeah. Oh, La really, large, really? Largely. You La have, no, me, you have yeah. no evidence for that whatsoever. I, I know this is just a smear, I, isn't it? I know them very well. It's just a I smear. have a lot of meetings with them. I know exactly where the American Jewry stands, okay? And, and the mainstream and those. And I know that today, Trump has a lot of support from the Orthodox Jewish community in the United States. And I want to tell you... The largest I, I know, body I know, of Orthodox I know, rabbis I know condemned very, him. I know very well Breitbart, too, OK? I have a lot of contacts. I know who is populating Breitbart, and I know that I would like to have a lot of Breitbart in support of the Jews and support of Israel all over Europe. That's a big difference between the lie, the smear, and so on, and the reality. I know really, the reality. Really? Yes, okay. I do. Well, I do. there are different I types. Do. Of, I do. They speak as Jews as well. You speak as a Jew, they speak as Jews okay. as well. Here in so Europe... They, they are not more qualified than myself to speak. I mean, they're, they're not, not less. They're certainly uh, not, not, not less. So, not more. They're certainly not, not less qualified. More, not more and not certainly less. Certainly not less not qualified. Not more and not okay. less. So it's different of opinions. And I fully support Trump. It's one of the most supportive Americans in the history of the Jews and Israel. And by the way, part of his grandchildren are Jewish too. Okay, That's From neither Trump. here nor no, there. No, no, but that's, but that's here true. in Europe, let's, okay. let's look at the requirements for joining your club. Okay. Your club. That members should stand up to the EU okay. and to the liberal policies of Emmanuel Macron and Angela this is, Merkel. This is not this. If you take a tough line on immigration, okay, that's what you want. Read, isn't it? read tough read, line on read immigration. My, all my statements. Okay, mm -hmm. what what are the three or four tenets uh, to join the movement? Immigration. One, one is sovereignty. That's a that's a first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, sovereignty of, of national states with borders to define who is a citizen or and who is not a citizen, because we believe that without citizens sharing the same value, there is no democracy. OK, that's one thing. Secondly, limiting migration. This is a demand from all over Europe. And thirdly, fighting radical Islam. OK, that's our, our tenets. The rest, liberalism, economic liberalism and so on, this is out of the movement, because it's we are nationalists, we are sovereigns, so we leave all our members with their own, with their own uh, uh, vision and principle in respect of all what is except these two. You, you, you use yeah. comfortable phrases like it's a club meant for the exchange of ideas from nationalist populist movements yeah. across your talking strategy. Yeah. But for Bannon, it's far more combative than that, isn't it? He called it gumming up the EU Parliament, in other words, blocking. Your purpose is essentially destructive, isn't it? No, it, it, it's to rebuild. You're not building it, it, anything. I, you're, I you're, am, you're breaking we things are, down. We are, we are reinforcing and rebuilding the preeminence of national What did states. he say? He said, the beating heart of the globalist project is in Brussels. If I drive the stake through the vampire, the whole thing will start well, to dissipate. Well, Pretty self-important claims, we, aren't they, these? We have... We, we analyze the situation uh, in the sense that the EU system, like the UN, ultimately ends up as imperialism, a kind of imperialism. And it is true 
that we have to bring down this kind of imperial. You want to cripple it. The, this, you want to cripple yeah, the world's the, largest the, the, trading the, bloc. The, this, this doesn't mean that we want to bring down total the EU. We want at least to be reformed. If it can be reformed, it has to be, to, it has to be indeed abandoned, this project. Why? But, the but, EU is more popular than it's been in uh, member countries for years. The, listen. For the, years. The, the, the You're e, fighting the, the tide. The, 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 swimming against no, no, the tide, no, no, Mr. No, Madrigal. No, no, I don't. Swimming I, against the tide. Okay, so if we have to swim against some tide, let's swim. Okay, this is not a problem. If, if you think that you are right, we can swim against, against the tide. That's not but you're a, suffering that's from not, delusions that, of grandeur, putting no, no, a stake through the not, heart of the look, Brussels look, look. vampire. This is nonsense, isn't it? Listen, the, look at the situation right now. You had this project, OK? And this project, as I say, becomes more and more a kind of imperialism. Now, as far as it was technicalities and so on, nobody really cared. We we're happy to, to live within, within this EU fram framework. But the moment that they decide who should get in and get out of Europe? They decide they want to impose to the, to, the, to the Czech or the Hungarians or the Polish, who should be their neighbors? You know, that in, in Warsaw or in Budapest, they should accept migrants, you know, Muslim migrants without being checked and so on, that they don't want, then they become real imperialists. So they are shooting themselves. You and know, Bannon, in, in and the Bannon book, yeah. is the vampire slayer, is, you know, well, That's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? He, listen, this is, this is The reason I ask about delusions of grandeur is because that's pretty much what, what we, we, Donald Trump said about okay. Steve Bannon, didn't he? When he? After Steve Bannon lost his White House job, he lost his mind, said Donald Trump. He spent his time in the White House leaking false information to make him seem more important than he was it's the only thing he does well. Okay. That's the view of the, Donald the, the, Trump on his former yeah, strategist. I, I, I have heard that. Listen. Uh, so you two are trying to be more important than you the, actually are. Li right? Listen, you are here. You, you, you asked to come and interview me. I, did, I didn't ask you to come. Absolutely. So, so, I want to see so, what's behind so, the rhetoric. So, so, so you, are, you, yeah, the rhetoric. you are here. So let's come back with, 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 with Steve, okay? Steve uh, was within the populist movement before Trump, okay? from 2009, same year that I entered into politics, by the way. He was with Breitbart, OK? And he has, there's an ideology, there is a vision, OK? And he could exercise or put in practice his vision with Trump for a certain time until they clash indeed, a kind of ego clash for sure, and so on. But there was a Steve Bannon before Trump, with Trump, and there's a Steve Bannon after Trump too, believe me. And, and this is the vision being indeed uh, 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 brought uh, to other countries than, than, than the US. And, and embodied in Italy by Matteo Salvini, Salvini yes. the but deputy only, prime not, minister not and the Ma leader of the League Party. Why? Because of his strong attitude to immigration. No, it's you know, hard line. You know, but and this is what not, you want. This, is, yeah. this is why he appeals sure, to you. For sure, we want a hard line attitude. But I, I want to tell you, you ask and the it, racism you, that goes with. No, it. It, there is no racism there. Believe There's no racism, no, really. No, no, no. Have you heard what some no, of his MPs no. have been saying? L listen about black people. There, there, There's no racism in, in, in that. any parties. Any parties from left to right to center, you will always meet extremist statement. I can tell you. I can show you. Uh, uh, cartoons uh, made by a socialist guy, MPs here in Brussels, and, uh, and cartoons that remind us, you know, the 30s about the Jews. And I can tell you, it's not because there is some MPs that are having such attitude that I believe that the Socialist Party in Belgium... Mr. Car uh, Mr. Madrid, I mean, let, you let, can have racist statements by let, lots let of people, me, let, but normally let, they're condemned and, by the and, leadership, and, they are, and here they okay. weren't. And, here they weren't they successively. Let me, let me, let me, with the let League me, has not condemned let, racist statements against, for instance, a politician like Cecil Kienge, member of the European Parliament and the Italy's first black government minister. You want to know the kind of things they said? about her. When I see Miss Kienge, I'm unable not to think about, although I don't say that it is, the appearance the, the, of an orangutan. That was from a League senator yeah. in 2013. Nobody and, condemned and, that. And in the meantime, condemned that. the first Italian senator that is black is from the Lega. Okay, he's from the Lega, as you certainly know. But I wanted to come back for a Everybody second. Everybody can have no, their, no, no, their, no, their, no, their no, show no, no, people. No, no, no. You know? I, want, I, want to tell you, I want to tell you one thing. One thing about, about Salvini. Why is he important? Why did he become an icon, you know, on, 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 the, uh, on the scene, European scene and so on? Because of action. Because he showed, again, like Trump did, 
that whenever you are in power, you can change things. Everybody said, we can't stop the migrants getting in and so on. And Salvini said, we are blocking the harbors. Nobody will get in anymore. And the results are there. 80 or 90 percent less of immigration in Italy. That is full. They cannot accept them anymore. It's action. And that's why he's an, an icon. And that's why he has been one of the first person we asked to join, and he accepted at that time. And, and quite a few people haven't accepted, have they? Germany's right wing, AFD, one of the most successful populist yeah. parties in Europe. They sent you off empty handed, yeah, and, didn't they? And I, Alexander Gowland said, Europe isn't America. The interests of the anti establishment parties in Europe are quite divergent. Yeah. Mr. Bannon will not succeed okay. in forging an alliance of the like minded for the European elections. Same with Milos okay. Zeman, okay. the Czech president. Okay. He to, didn't want I, you either, did he? The club is a worldwide club. It is true that the first battleground, well, the first battleground will be, will be Europe, where, where the, the battle is being conducted. Now, I want to tell you. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that your, your, your information are a bit outdated, you know, for one very important thing. Because it's true that Golan came with, with this statement because they didn't know exactly what was the movement. But I can tell you, meantime, we have so many meetings from people with AFD. And it's a question of time before they will come officially to the meeting. Meantime, there's not a... Uh, That's a good sales technique. No, no, it's no. Only no. A it's only a matter of time. You don't know. You don't what, know. What, I, what about I, Milos Zeman? He turned you flat, down flat, didn't he? With Milo Seman, the problem, the Czech, the, the Czech president, the problem is that it focused immediately on a totally different issue from, from Europe and, and, and sovereignism and populism. It focused, I mean, the meeting focused on the relation with China. And you know that Bannon and America are fighting hard Chinese imperialism, while some countries like the Czech Republic are being or willing to be a port of entry uh, for China in Europe. And that was a, a, there was a clash not of vision, it was a clash of maybe of interest at that time. And, and again, there is, I mean, with the movement, it's a club, okay? And you will be people that will get in immediately, you will be people that will exit the club, and you will pe get people that will come later. I have no doubt about it. Maybe. 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 It's a question. Maybe. Let's, let's see. Let's see. We're just starting. We're just starting. Let's, okay. see, uh, let's see our summit. Who will be there and who won't be one, there? One okay. of the things that Steve Bannon has spoken about your movement doing is providing assistance with okay. polling and data, mark, micro targeting of voters, mm -hmm. the kinds of things that this firm Cambridge Analytica used to do when Bannon was a board member. Mm -hmm. This was the company that folded after being accused of going way beyond analysis and trying to rig elections and misuse Facebook data. Um, this is a company that boasted of using so-called dark arts in trapping rival candidates in fake bribery stings, hiring prostitutes to seduce them. This was Alexander Nix, the former chief executive, who is on record as actually saying this is what the company did. Mm -hmm. Is that what you intend to do the, the, for, the, uh, for the populist parties? Listen. Again, again... Use this kind of method? Again, the, the aim of the movement is to be a club, OK? And that's the first. To be a forum where people that usually not meet, meet. While you have the, the globalists, you know, meeting in Davos... It's not just cigars and brandy, and, is no, it, no, 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 Mr. Magic? No, no, no. listen, listen. It's not just cigars and brandy. It's, it is also that. It is also that because these people do not know each other for most of the time. And it's very important that we'll be when we know each other, we are able to help each other. Secondly, we said that wherever it would be permissible and possible, and wherever there would be a demand, we would be helping. By the way... Are you going to use methods like that? No. The Cambridge Analytica no, busted? No, no, no. And, and, no? and so, far, so far that I know, I mean, nobody accused Steve Bannon himself to have used any illicit methods. No, they methods. didn't. But, no? They, but, no, this, no, is, so, but so, this is what the company faced up to. I, I, my, I, my point to you is that your populist movement has already, in the United States, by livening up white supremacists and neo-Nazis and increasing I don't, the numbers of their organization I don't, I don't. and with Brexit in Britain yes. has created enormous damage to the social fabric. Mm. It's led to bitter political polarization because you've gone looking for people's grievances no. and anger no. and you want to stir no. it up. Don't I, you? Want, I want to tell you that the biggest damage... You're dangerous the, the, people, the, aren't the, you? the biggest damage... You're dangerous people. Wait, wait, the biggest damage 
has been created by the elites or the so-called elites to the ordinary guy for the last 20 or 30 years. Look at the social fabric as it is existing today. Look at the social fabric, for example, in France and so on. Look at, at the social fabrics, you know, in the small uh, 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 English English uh, cities, for example. And, and look at the rise and the in hate and speech the, and since we are, you we are not, we are, we are not, we are not bringing, we are not bringing damages. We are not bringing damages. Uh, to the social fabric. We are bringing damages to the elite, to the establishment as it is today. That is true. And we are a threat to them. And, and they, to the society. And, 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 and polarization the, and, uh, in society. Well, the polarization didn't exist before. Really? You can make really, it worse. Uh, really, uh, you can make really, it worse. Really. No. You can always we are, make things worse. We are, this is the problem. We you are, can start we, this, we are but you can't get rid of it. We are to represent the ordinary guy, okay? that has been so, so long despised and forgotten by these elites. And indeed, we are, we are the populists from all over the world, and the voice of this ordinary guy. Right. We're bringing in that right. voice. And, and we are not, uh, we are not um, uh, putting problem on the, on the social fabric. Michel, yeah. Madrid, come on. Yeah. thanks very much for being on Conflict Zone. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure.